What's up guys? Uh, I'm here with you today. I wanted to do a quick demonstration on how to update your Lowrance to the latest software using Wi-Fi. Um, so there's been a lot of questions on how to do this so I'm gonna do it once. Uh, I've got two units here that haven't been updated yet and um, so I'm gonna load the software onto them. Uh, one of them's been updated before so we can do the update over Wi-Fi and the other one it hasn't been done before so we're gonna just go ahead and load the card in there and uh, do it uh, off of the software from the website so uh, we'll show you how to do that and uh, we'll see how this goes okay so I've got my HDS7 here uh, and we're gonna go ahead and do the upgrade on this over Wi-Fi uh, first off I have a um, micro SD card this happens to be a SanDisk Extreme it's 32 gigabytes you don't really need um, you know a card that nice but uh, I use this in my GoPro so uh, it works pretty good uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in one of the slots uh, it doesn't really matter which one. Uh, I've taken my map cards out though um, just to avoid confusion. So we're going to go ahead and power the unit up. Uh, it's probably going to gripe about the low voltage because I've got uh, my power supply is not that great. But uh, we'll go ahead and boot it up and uh, when it loads up we'll see what it says. Alright, so it's starting to come up here. Of course, it's going to make you accept the warning. It's going to connect to Wi Fi, low voltage warning. Right, so it's connecting to Wi Fi. And then after a while, it should come up with a message saying that it's uh, ready to do an update. Okay, so now uh, the unit saying there is a software update. Uh, it's available for the device. Do you want to download it? So we're going to go ahead and click download, and then it's going to be downloading the software update. Okay, so the software update has finished downloading. Probably took about you know 10 minutes at the most. It said uh, it will be applied the next time you restart your device with the SD card in. So we're going to go ahead and restart it. And uh, so the unit's going to say it's restarting, and we'll give it a few minutes. All right, so it's validating the update that's on the card just to make sure that it got downloaded properly. And um, so just main thing is not to turn the unit off while it's doing the update because it could damage the software. Okay, so the update's finished installing. It's going to go ahead and reboot. And it should boot up, and we've got the new software. We can verify that by going to the menu. And then, uh, of course, it should have all the new features on it. Okay, so the unit's booted back up, and now it's asking, do you want to uh, delete the old update transfer files from the SD card? Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and select yes. Um, that way I can uh, format the card, and we're going to show you how to download it from a computer and do it that way. Okay, to update the uh, Lowrance unit using a uh, SD card, you're going to need a couple of things. First of all, you're going to need a computer. And um, this one's a Windows 7 computer. Uh, I'm sure you can do it with other versions of Windows. And I've heard there's some things that you have to do to make it work if you want to use a Mac. But uh, the other things that you're going to need, of course, is your SD card. Uh, you'll need a micro SD, and I've got this uh, micro SD adapter. And then you can also use uh, like a USB adapter so that you can read your micro SD card or your regular SD card adapter. Um, and then you can just plug that into USB. We got that at Walmart for less than $15. Uh, but my computer, it's actually got an SD card slot. So we're just going to plug it in and it should boot up here in just a second and let us know that it's got an SD card in there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and insert our SD card, and it'll come up with a little prompt here in just a second. It says, uh, open the folder view file. So uh, we're going to take a look here. It looks like the uh, card is completely empty. Now, the card doesn't have to be empty, but you just need to make sure that you've got at least a, a gigabyte or two of space uh, free on the card, and that the card is less than 32 gigs. Uh, any larger than that, and the... Uh, 
Lorenz unit won't be able to read it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and download the software. So uh, I'm going to do a, a search here for uh, Lorenz update. That'll bring us to the uh, Lorenz downloads page once we click on the link. And uh, if we look down here, the unit we're going to be updating is an HTS Gen 3. Uh, if you look on the bottom, scroll down here, software updates. Uh, there's the fish reveal update. Uh, released March 14, 2018. It's version 18.1, uh, 59.1.72. So we'll go ahead and download that. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes to download, and uh, once it gets downloaded, uh, we should see that in our downloads folder. Okay, now that the uh, download is completed, uh, we'll go to the downloads folder, and uh, we should be able to find the update file. Uh, we'll take and copy that over to our SD card. Uh, you just right-click that, uh, click send to SD card. If you don't have that option available, you can always copy it. Uh, same thing, right-click, copy, go to your SD card, and paste it there. If you look here, now that we're in our SD card, uh, of course you can see that the file has copied over to the SD card. So the next thing is we're going to eject the SD card, and it's very important to do because if you don't do that, uh, if it's in the middle of a read process, you can actually damage the SD card. Uh, and this is speaking from experience. So uh, now that we've ejected the SD card, we can remove it from the uh, reader. And we'll go to our HDS9 to finish the update. Okay, now that we've got our uh, HDS9 here, uh, we're going to look and see in the about. And it looks like the uh, version is 1.5, applications 51.1.7, and uh, platform 14. So we're going to go ahead and update this. Uh, first off, we're going to turn the unit off. And uh, of course, once it turns off, <clears throat> we're going to take the SD card. And uh, I've already removed my uh, chart cards. And I just do this for simplicity so I don't get anything mixed up. Insert the uh, card. Use a fingernail, make sure it's all the way in there. You don't really have to close that, but we'll go ahead and close it. And we'll beat the, boot the unit back up. It should see the update on the card and uh, go ahead and give you the option to update the unit from there. All right, validating update. And it's gonna go ahead and do the update for us. Okay, so the uh, update's completed. Uh, unit's gonna go ahead and reboot. Okay, so now that we're booted up, we'll go ahead and pull up the main menu here, and we're going to verify that the update is completed. Uh, so you're going to look at your settings and your system settings, uh, go down to the About page, and you can see the version is now 7.0, 59.1.72, platform 29.0. Um, so it definitely performed the update, and then... Um, so it should have a bunch of cool new features here and uh, that's how you do it.